The 12th annual Civil War Blood Drive visited the University of Oregon campus for a friendly competition against Oregon State University. U of O and OSU compete for the most blood donations during the month of November. Students, faculty, and members of the Eugene community visited the EMU to give a pint of blood, which saves up to three lives. Senior U of O student, Brennan Duffy, came to donate with a personal blood donation story of his own. I actually had a blood disease as a kid, and, um, and if it wasn't for volunteers donating blood, I probably wouldn't be here, possibly. The American Red Cross and Lane Blood Center teamed up to assist in the 503 donors that came through the U of O in one week. Blood is always needed, as both Duffy and Lane Blood Center employee Heather Young have experienced. My daughter, who will be 17 next week, would not be alive without blood donors, so it's an awesome, amazing thing to be able to do, and I'm so happy to be a part of it, really. Well, I honestly never thought about donating blood before that happened with my daughter, and I think that goes for a lot of people. They just need the education about it. So telling a personal story like that makes them think about it in a little bit of a different way, because they see where it's going and who it's affecting, and it's affecting families in a major way. My life's actually been saved. My blood? <laughs> true, true story. The Civil War Blood Drive is a major contributor to the needed blood supply in the region during the winter season. The donation process takes about an hour, with the actual blood donation time only lasting roughly seven to ten minutes. It feels good. Like I feel like I'm, you know, hopefully making a difference, and uh, it's such an easy thing to do, really, that uh, there's like really no point in not doing it. The blood drive continues until November 24th as the Ducks and the Beavers prepare to battle again at Autzen Stadium on November 29th. Reporting for J432 News, I'm Chelsea Fulmer.